All right, mass points in geometry assumes that the figure balances carefully on a carefully chosen point. It also assumes that there are weights at each point. So like on here, we could have a weight attached to this, and we could have a weight attached to this. This allows you, usually, are, these problems are uh, used um, in problems that ask for the ratio of the two lengths. So M stands for mass. So like the mass at point 8, let's say that this would be 5 times this whole thing would be equal to a mass, and it would actually tell you, like, let's say this is 7, the length of BC. So as you see problems, you might come back to this, the mass times the length of the whole segment that it's attached to, the mass of this point times the length of it. Right now it seems kind of abstract, but let's say that. The next property in this 2D case, we're going to assume that this triangle is balancing at point F with masses at point A, D, and C. So, if you know, let, let's say that this is, let me just find it because I have a specific one. Let's say I'm going to tell you that the mass at this point is 6, and at this point it's 10. What's the mass at B? You simply add the 2. Like, this is the balancing point, but here, because it connects right here, this is 16. The mass of A plus this one is going to be the mass at E. So if I tell you like this is 12, 6 plus 12 would be 18. Now, another way that this could also be applied, like to make it balance, if this mass is 6, we would label this 6x. If this mass is 10, we would label this 10x. And that's because if these masses are assigned like this, the ratio of the lengths of this segment to this segment, they have to counteract on the masses for this to balance. Does that make sense? Yeah. So basically, whatever this mass is, you're going to attach this here. If whatever this mass is, that's going to go here. Or if I tell you the ratio, oh, segment AB, comparing the ratio of AB to BC is 10 to 6. You would just put 10 here, 6 here, and right away you know if the 10 is on this side, to balance the whole segment, this has to be 10. If this is 6, to balance the whole segment, this has to be 6. So it kind of goes across from each other. You'll try one today. You'll see how it works. Okay? Just remember that if this is some, a certain mass, this is going to be like the ratio that you're going to use over here. If this is the mass, right here. Is point A 6? Yes. Oh, okay. Point A is 6. And the last one, the next law, is not specific to mass points, but it relates the area and side length of a triangle. So basically, if you have a triangle that's split in with a segment, if you know that the area of a certain triangle, ABD, so like this side, divided by the area of triangle ACD, that's going to be the same as dividing BD over DC. Okay? So that might come in handy. All right, now I'm done.